Everyone who goes to church knows a pastor's kid. Some have moms who only wanted Bible names for their children. Others were that unattended three-year-old terror crawling under the pews and digging in your purse. And we all know a PK like this. So, uh, what's your favorite TV show? <sighs> TV show? TV show? I only listen to Adventures in Odyssey, a radio drama, because I won't sell my soul to anyone! We here at the Puppet Pulpit have observed the unusual human behavior of pastor's kids over the course of several years and have determined through extensive study that there is a total of 30 signs that you were raised as a PK. Let's get started. The majority of your shites come from camps or mission trips, you know what I'm saying? You learn most of your Bible knowledge from Adventures and Odyssey. You walk into the sound booth like you own the thing, which you basically do because you clean it every Saturday. Why do these guys leave snotty Kleenexes all over the floor? You aren't friend zoned, you are brother in Christ zoned. You decorated for every kid's crusade. You go to the same restaurant after every Sunday morning service. I don't really care, just don't get a salad. Every time you did something wrong and you did not tell your daddy right away, you had nightmares about Jesus coming back and you being left behind. <laughs> oh, isn't that a movie? You have at least three major positions at the church. You were taught at a very early age to never date anyone inside your dad's church. Yeah, and thanks to that, you avoided a lot of drama in the process. <laughs> What? You're eventually going to break up with them and you don't have to see their face every Sunday morning. You still laugh at Veggie Tales, and you're in your 20s. Movie theaters are the spawn of Satan! You eat a lot of fast food because you're always on the way to music practice or play practice or prayer meeting or something! You know the lyrics to every, uh, uh, what, you, what was it called? Uh, silly songs from Larry, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Are you, oh my gosh, this is the best one, okay. <clears throat> you thought living on a prayer was a Christian song because it had the word prayer in it, Micah. Come on now, are you serious? I'm pretty sheltered, much. I think this is just you, Micah. This isn't anybody else. Have you seen a picture of John Bon Jovi? Does he look like a Christian singer to you? Actually, I think he looks like Stephen Curtis Chapman from the 1990s. What? Oh, dude, he does. <laughs> Well, at least they have the excuse that they lived in the 90s. I mean, I've seen worse hairdos on Christian singers. I mean, look at Colton Dixon. <laughs> okay, we gotta move on. We gotta move on. You're a Republican. Nerf said. You know the zip code to Colorado Springs, Colorado. That means something to you if you listen to Adventures in Odyssey. Your first crush was someone from youth group. Between the time you were 13 and 18, at least three forces of people that you dated were from camp. You're doing some sort of platform work. Uh, you're either singing, playing an instrument, or working sound or media. But some form of fashion of you is on that platform, you know what I'm saying? Everyone knows your entire life story from your dad's sermons. You were put in charge of a group of adults when you were only 14, at least once in your life. The TV in the hotel room stays off, but that's because you have no earthly idea how to turn it on. You've taught a teacher Sunday school class when she was sick, at least once. You had to stay at the church for hours after a night service at least once a month because your parents are having a meeting with someone in their office, a member of the congregation who has not shown up for church in six months, and your parents are your only ride home and you have to sit in the sanctuary. <laughs> if a church worker doesn't show up for church, congratulations, you have a new job. As a child, whenever you had pool parties, you would baptize your friends in the pool. 
Oh, that is so cute. It is socially unacceptable to not like Chick-fil-A. Unfortunately for me. And finally, you get a lot more privilege, but that's because you get a lot more work. To share the responsibility of reaching the lost with your parents who raised you for ministry. You may have to share your dad with an entire congregation as a spiritual leader, but only you can say that he's your dad. We love you, PKs! Thanks for watching everyone. I hope that you enjoyed this video and got a good laugh out of it. I'm a PK, so I definitely did. Through a post on Instagram and Facebook, we asked our followers on social media to send us some ideas for this list, and some of them were included in the video. Special thanks to Josie Newton, Lana Heyman, Katie Rhodes, Kayla Young, Zondrea Henderson, Aaron Vining, and Cliff Hilton for commenting. Like and subscribe for future videos from your favorite group of Protestant Pentecostal puppets and comment below if there is another sign of being a PK that was not included in this video. Again, thanks for watching and have an awesome day.